I'm Bob Dixon, Mayor of Greensburg, Kansas. My name is Stacy Barnes and I'm the Tourism Director for the City of Greensburg. Greensburg, Kansas is the county seat of Kiowa County in South Central Kansas. We're 100 miles west of Wichita and 45 miles east of Dodge City. Greensburg has always been a agriculture and oil and gas community. On May the 4th of 2007, an EF5 tornado came through town and wiped out 95% of the buildings that were leveled to run. From that point, we were really faced with rebuilding our whole town. We really had a blank slate. There was never any question of whether we were going to rebuild or not. This is our home. This is where we live. This is where we raised our families. And so in that process, how do we build a community back as our ancestors built for us? How do we build it back to last lifetime? Within the first couple of weeks, our governor at the time came to visit and was in a meeting with um, city leadership and our city administrator at the time. And she asked him, you know, Steve, what's your plan? And he said, well, we're going to build back and stronger and more energy efficient and all this. And she said, well, it sounds like you're going to build back green. And green wasn't just a color. It was how do we be environmental stewards and how at the same time, do we be financial stewards of the resources we have available? The idea of building back sustainable came very early, within a few days really after the tornado, of how can we incorporate some green initiatives in to help us um, build for the future, to save energy, build strong buildings that will be around hopefully for lifetimes. In the rebuilding process, we started thinking about, hey, how can, how can we utilize the very wind that blew us away to help help in the process of sustainability for the future? We've had a lot of great opportunities come out of a horrible tragedy. And I think that's what makes the Greensburg story so compelling is what we've been able to accomplish in the last almost 11 years, starting with this. We had to educate ourselves. And that was the key. How do we maintain and make our community vibrant and a better place to live and work for all citizens, not just for us at the current time, but for future generations? It was an education process, and I think when people learned that it could be little things like using natural light and better insulation and energy-saving appliances and um, low-flow water fixtures and natural irrigation on your property, all of those kind of low-tech things that it didn't have to be ultra-modern looking architecture and wind turbines and solar panels, it didn't have to be all of those things necessarily. I think that that's really when people started to understand, oh yeah, we could do this. Here in City Hall, as, as we look around, all the bricks in City Hall, there's 75,000 bricks that were reclaimed from the road. We also have wood on awnings that were reclaimed from the rubble. We also, in the, in the safe room here behind us here in City Hall, the concrete is 25% fly ash. And fly ash is a byproduct of coal-fired electrical plants. A lot of people here will tell you they built as green as they could with the green that they had. Or it's really something that people here in the heartland and agricultural-based areas have been doing for a long time, conserving resources that they had. Our pioneering ancestors, as they settled the high plains, the first thing they did was, was drill the water well for life-sustaining water for them and their livestock. And by the way, they pumped the water with the wind, with the windmill. And then that was pumped up into a tower that they built, and a tank that the sun the solar energy heated it, and they took a warm shower at night. And I contend, as I researched and thought about this more, that was the original green people. The concepts were already there. It's just that we have the modern technology today to enhance a plethora of sources. You try to have open eyes and, and understand, no, we didn't get it all right, nothing's perfect. Um, but to, to start with this and to see where we are today and um, just to experience you know, a, a, a rural community, less than a thousand people in Kansas and all that we have to offer here.